Well, when you start singing when you're seven years old and you inform your mommy that you want a manager the same year, chances are that laser focus is going to result in success. Such is the story of Isa Gonzalez of Teaneck, New Jersey. She is now one of the voices of the Nickelodeon formed group Good News Girls. Here's a look at one of the music videos for their debut EP, Winter Getaway. You are welcome for that earworm you will have for the rest of your day. So this is just a glimpse of Isa Gonzalez's journey. And please welcome to the show none other than Isa Gonzalez. Hello. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Of, of course, you know, I always wonder with stars and performing artists, when you watch yourself, what sort of feelings do you have? Are you like embarrassed? Are you excited? Are you like, I wish I did my hair differently? Um, it's like a whole mix of emotions. <laughs> Most of the time it's like, oh, there's me, like that's so weird. Yeah. And then sometimes it's like, oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that thing? <laughs> but, um, you know, most of the time it's like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, so, yeah. I would think so. It is very cool. So that's uh, the Let It Snow uh, and Holiday Gift are doing great with more than a million views on YouTube. So what was it like to make that? I don't suspect that you made that when it was winter. Um, no, we didn't. <laughs> uh, we actually made it over the span of August and September with a few trips back and forth from California. Mm -hmm. um, it was so exciting and like so fun to make. Um, it was a really cool process and everyone that we met along the way was really nice. It looks like it. Now, did you miss any school? Um, unfortunately, I did. Um. <laughs> I have to say that as, as, a, as a former high school teacher, but I already spoke to your mommy that, and she, um, she's very proud. Speaking of which, she tells me, you've been singing since you were seven, probably even earlier than that. So talk to us a little bit about those early days at the Teaneck Charter Community School. Um, okay. what, what was that like? We have some pictures to show. What drew you to this work? Well, um, so at charter school, they have an amazing musical program. And uh, when I was there, I was seven years old, and they got uh, the Smash grant to start their first musical. And they did Annie Jr. Um, and I was a little orphan. I was July. <laughs> and it was like the most exciting thing I've ever done in my life. Um, I don't know, I didn't know what I was doing, but I loved it all. And ever since then, I knew that music would be a part of me and something that I've always wanted to do for the rest of my life. We were just looking at a clip of you in Wicked and you in Once on this Island. And I will have to say, my youngest son was just an Annie Jr. He was, oh. he was Rooster, so I know that play like the back of my hand. And I'm going to get major points for speaking to you. I'm going to use oh that God. to make sure he eats his vegetables tonight. Oh, yeah, for sure. I definitely <laughs> have to see some clips. <laughs> so you and your bandmates have really hit the ground running. Two music videos, a performance at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards earlier this week. What has it been like working with this diverse group of young women? And then what's next for you? Oh, my God. Um, these girls, I love them so much. They are so dedicated, so hardworking. They're incredibly talented. Um, they are the kindest, sweetest people I've ever met in my life. And we're definitely sisters, and I really hope that we get to be together forever. Um, and no, you know, now we're just going to continue to work and hopefully put out some new stuff. I love it. We're all, we're all looking forward to it. In addition to the singing, will there be any acting in your, on your resume, on your CV? I hope so. I really <laughs> do hope so. I really do. I love acting. Um, it's acting is also one of my favorite things to do because you get to leave your life for a little bit mm -hmm. and pretend to be somebody else, and you know it's like a little encapsulated world that you make in your brain for I this specific character. I love it. You are so wise beyond your years. I can't help but notice the advent calendar over your left shoulder. We love a hometown girl. So, what will the Gonzalez family be doing for Christmas? How will you celebrate? Okay, well, the Gonzalez family, we go to my uncle's house on Christmas Eve, and then we go to my aunt's house on Christmas Day, 
and oh my god the holidays with my family is so fun everybody comes together and it's like the best time and the food is so good so i was going to i was going to say are you going to have pasteles are you going to have arroz con gandule are you going to have lechon are you going to have coquito even though you're not old enough to drink it uh, um, <laughs> My favorite um, like dish is pelin. Oh my god, my uncle makes the best pelin I've ever had. Um, it's so good. And then you know, of course, like the more de gondules and all that mm -hmm. stuff and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited because I love Christmas time. It's oh, the best time of year. It absolutely is, and we want to thank you so much for you ever for joining us this morning and congratulations you. on your continued success. We are all so thank very you proud so of you and can't wait to see what you do next. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you, too. Those of you at home watching, you can follow Issa and the Good News Girls on TikTok and Instagram to stay up to date on everything they got going on. Tell your uncle I may be over for some penil. Save me some cuerito. I will. I will, for sure, definitely. <laughs>